Hey, hey. It's me and Tiny here. Tiny, say hi. Okay. If you, um, well, I have a tree frog. I've had him since he was two days old. And he's about two months old now. Big difference. Um, he loves ants. His name is Tiny. And, uh, like I said, uh, he's a tree frog. And he's a baby tree frog. Um, this tree frog will get about that big. And, see, look, I think Tiny's got a long way to go. Um, Tiny, he hops when he's on the ground. He does not like to hop when he's on me. Um, because he's used to me and he doesn't like to hop off of me. He doesn't like to go in the cage. And that's my hands in there. So, and if you go outside one day, you find a tree frog. And it looks big. Don't get it because, or if, or if it's bright. If it's bright, then it's poisonous. You don't want to touch those. Um, and, uh, this little frog right here. If you find one and it's big, it's like that big, don't get it because it knows what the world is. And if you put it in a tank with everything that I tell you to have, it'll still get sick and die because it got sad. You don't want that to happen. And him, when he's so small, he won't get sick and die because he, I got him the second day he was born. And so he has, he knows that, um... He doesn't know what the house. He knows the house like where all this, but he doesn't know that he's supposed to be out there. Because he doesn't understand the world. So, if he was, if he found a frog this small, that would be great. You could keep him. But, don't get one to, um, like to the bigger ones. Because, it won't work out for you too well, okay? I'm doing it for your safety and the frogs. I don't want you to get excited, and I also don't want you to the frogs to get, well, dead. Okay, um, him. He's been with me forever, I love him to death, and I think he likes you guys. Um, I'm going to show you what you need for your the pet frog, okay? Um, I had a turtle too, um, and my turtle crawled down a hole, and, but it was an outside turtle. It had like a big cage that was built, it was about the size of my room, and um, so what I done was I got, made the house and then we put the turtle inside. But this time the turtle dug this little claw and got out. Hold on a minute. You may be off. Back up there. Okay. Well, see he won't move. He likes that. I know he's crawling up me. Don't get in my hair. Okay. Well, anyway, um. And he dug out, so he got loose. Um, I was really sad. I didn't like that part of it, but it's okay. And if you get a turtle, you cannot keep him, keep him past winter. He'll die because he has to hibernate. And you can feed him. He can hibernate in your home. No one, not even scientists, no. Okay? Other than God, no one knows what turtles eat before they go in hibernation. Not even scientists. And neither do you. So, you let them go before winter, unless you want it to die. And, but if you have one, a baby one, if it only if it's a baby, and you keep it inside, and you leave it alone through winter, you put a bunch of food in there, you leave it alone through winter, then, then I would keep it, but I would not keep it. If, it, if it's a big turtle, if it's over this size right here, don't keep it. Because when they're about this size, they're like five years old. Um, I'm just warning you guys, okay? So this is what you need for a healthy little tree frog, a frog like mine. Close up, can I see him? There you go. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to... Okay, look. This is what I need. Hold on. Good evening, buddy. 
Okay. This is all you need. Right. So this is what his cage looks like. Okay, he has he has rock. Wait, he has the rock like one second. Okay, anyway. He has rocks. Um you're not gonna be able to get the tank where you will, so um I'll just get the stuff out of it. You need to see. We got this, just one plain log, one little log. Tree frogs love this, so do toads, any other kind of frog loves these. And we keep one in here for tiny. Um, a little jumping court that they love to death. Little jump, it's like a coral reef. Um, he like jumps, 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 and he jumps up here. He's got like little feet that he can jump up on. He's always on this top one for some reason. I think he's, I don't think he's scared of heights. Um, and I keep this other coral reef thing. He just sits in there. And, um, he's got two sticks, two little sticks. Two tiny sticks that stick up out of his dirt. Then he play, crawls and jumps on them. And I'll show you his little pond. Oh, wait. Right. Here's some rocks. Here's two rocks. He has a bunch of more rocks in one pile. He, that's his climbing cliff. He likes that. And this is his lake. He likes it. There's rocks in it for him to jump up on. And there's water in it. And that's really all you need. And to cook his food, if you guys don't have, like, a lot of bugs around your house, we don't. So, we don't have anything in our house. So, what we had to do is we have to stick a piece of candy outside. And we have to give it a minute, right? Then we go back out there, and there's a bunch of ants around it. So, you get the ants, up on your finger, and you feed it to them. And some frogs can watch the meat. Like ours, you can watch eat. But my frog's full. We've already fed him, like, five ants. Well, not five, three ants today. So I can't show you today, but I will show you one day, okay? Um, but that's all you need for a healthy tree frog. Like it, and um, I hope you liked this video. Remember, I want you to comment down below, okay? If you have a pet, if you have a pet frog, or even planning on getting one, okay? Thank you. Cute.